I couldn't sleep, so I told a friend to help me build a PvP arena and to fight me to death in it. And this is what happened. Hi. Hi. Do you wanna build a PvP arena and fight me to death? Sure. And that's when we started. Let's go. So we started off by clearing all the grass in the area to give us a less disrupted view of the plains and then started layering down the edges of the structure, which we used chiseled blocks for and continued to spread these to create an outline for the arena, which was later changed but was a layer to get started with so we went further. Then we decided to use mossy stone bricks for the base and so we went with it but it looked kind of plain so we had to give some glow to it. We did this by using glowstone in a diagonal manner and ended up finding out about the distorted proportions of the barrel and hence fixing that alongside the process of placing the glowstones. Now we had to do something about the walls, right? So we ended up choosing black tinted glass with glowstones placed alternatively to give off a well lit environment with an aesthetic to it, whilst also not overwhelming the arena too much with the lights. For the roof, we decided to use mossy cobblestone as it really complemented the environment and seemed like the right thing to use. And so we went and made ourselves a proper roof for the structure and this is how it turned out with some glowstone added to its corners on the inside. To well add some extra lighting to the arena and because I love glowstone a bit too much. At this point, the structure of the arena was nearly done, but I felt like mossy cobblestone would look better as the bottom layer of the wall, so we replaced the chisel with them all around. Now the structure of the arena was complete, but for someone like us, it felt like it was way too simple. After a bit of experimenting, we thought it would look great if we could make automatic curtain-like walls for a separate different starting points. For this, we spent a fair amount of time trying different mechanisms and for deciding what to use to be able to pull more than one block down and ended up relying on a very vanilla approach. Sand and torches. We used multiple sticky pistons to pull the barrier between the curtain, separating the sand curtain and the torch below the barrier and after various trials and errors formed a logic around the reverse operation of the pressure plate in each player's box allowing for the pistol to turn off and make the curtains fall and hence starting the fight. Now with the automatic doors in the beautiful arena the mood was set and it was time we jumped into survival and started the fight. All right boys, this is the arena and it's already in its finest form. We have our challenger, Ballista, in there. And I'm gonna show you guys inside and let's go inside and see where our challenger resides. All right boys, we need doors, right? Anyways, we have two corners in which we have a pressure plate each as soon as we step on that pressure plate. As soon as Ballista steps on that pressure plate, the match is gonna begin. And off to the challenger. But this uh, you in there? Wave to the camera. Yeah. Alright boys, we are both in survival. We have a netherite armor, a shield, and a netherite sword. Let's see who gains victory and I'll count to three. And then on three, we're both on three, we're both gonna jump on the pressure plate and the fight is gonna begin, boys. Let's make this happen. Are you ready, Amar? Go, 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 go. Alright, one. Two, three. Ah! <laughs> Man, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh boy. Okay. All right, boys. Take two uh, due to unforeseen. Um, <laughs> is it due, due to an unfortunate uh, fortunate event? We're gonna have a turn two and on three, we are going to start the game. Are you ready, Balissa? Let's go. All right, one, two, three. And the curtains have fallen. Let's fight. Oh boy. Oh boy. Gotcha. I got, I got this. I got this, boys. I believe. Come on. 
Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't get me. You can't get me. Are you? How are you? Okay, uh, boy, boys, change, change of plans. Change, change of plans. Change of plans. Change of plans. Change of plans. No, literally change of plans. Like, like you can hit me all day. Let's go. Let's go for diamond. No shields. Come on. <laughs> but let's go for diamond. How about that? This is this is too overpowered. Like honestly. Me nee, nee. we'll, Eventually our shield will break. Will it? Yep, it does. Okay. I take a harder damage than it stops. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait! Stop, 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 stop. But this is no, no. I, no. Then I know what's happening. What's happening? Ah, now, now we'll take hunger damage. Hunger? Okay. Okay, nice. Right, ah, no, that you... prevents regen. Nah, that prevents regen. What's the name, bro? Let's let's go ahead and begin. No, 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 Bro, I'm at three hearts. <laughs> oh shit, bro. GG's. Good game. All right, boys. With that, all right, boys. With that, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys stall enjoyed. It stall it out, Rafa. Stall it out. Stall it out. What's stall it out. What do you mean? Stall it out. Nothing's happening. Oh no. I gotta, I gotta do this intro, intro fast boys With that boys, we have officially reached the end of this episode I hope you guys enjoyed And I hope you guys like uh, If you guys like more videos like this Make sure you guys do subscribe, like and comment down below What kind of challenge you guys want next And the arena has officially toppled down <laughs> See you guys in the next video Bye